Google just dropped something crazy. Gemini can now talk to you live, like a real conversation, and it understands what you actually want. This changes everything for AI voice. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. And today, today is wild. Google just released an update to Gemini that honestly made me stop and go, wait, what? It's called Gemini 2.5 Flash Native Audio. And before you click away thinking this is boring tech stuff, stay with me because this is the kind of update that changes how you can actually use AI, not in some future timeline, right now, today. So what did Google actually do? They made Gemini talk, like really talk, not the robotic text-to-speech stuff you're used to, native audio, which means Gemini generates speech directly, no weird pauses, no robotic tone, just natural conversation, and it's live, real-time, back and forth, like talking to a person. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This isn't just about making AI sound nicer. Google improved three massive things that actually matter. First one, function calling. Stay with me on this. Function calling is when AI decides to use a tool or run an action, like checking your calendar, sending an email, looking up information. Before this update, Gemini would sometimes mess this up. It would call the wrong function or not call one at all. Now, it's way more reliable, which means you can actually trust it to do things for you while you're talking to it. That's huge. Second improvement, instruction following. This one's simple but powerful. You know how sometimes you tell AI to do something complex and it just doesn't, or it does half of it? Google fix that. Gemini now handles multi-step instructions way better. You can give it complicated tasks, and it actually completes them all while having a voice conversation. Third thing, natural conversation flow. This is the part that made me go, okay, this is actually insane. Have you ever talked to a voice assistant and it just feels off? Like you're talking to a machine that doesn't remember what you said two seconds ago? Gemini 2.5 flash native audio. Fix that. Long conversations now flow naturally. It remembers context. It follows the thread. It feels real, and I know what you're thinking. Julian, this sounds cool, but where can I actually use this? Great question. Let me tell you where this is rolling out. First, Google AI Studio. This is where developers can test and build with Gemini. If you want to experiment, this is your playground. Second, Vertex AI. This is Google's enterprise platform. If you're building something at scale, this is where you deploy it. Third, and this is the cool one, Gemini Live. You can literally use this right now in the Gemini app. Just talk to it voice to voice, no typing, just conversation. Fourth, Search live. Google is bringing this to search. Imagine searching with your voice and having a real conversation about your results. That's not future tech. That's now. But wait, there's more. And this part honestly blew my mind. Google also launched a beta feature in Google Translate, live speech to speech translation. But here's what makes it insane. It preserves your tone, your pacing, your pitch. Most translation tools sound robotic. This one keeps your voice characteristics. So if you're excited, the translation sounds excited. If you're calm, it sounds calm. That's next level. Now, let me show you why this actually matters, because I can already hear some of you going, OK, cool. But so what? Here's the so what? Think about customer service. Right now, most voice bots are terrible. You call a company, you get a robot. It doesn't understand you. You get frustrated. With this update, companies can build voice agents that actually work, that understand complex questions, that remember context, that sound human. Think about personal assistants. You could have an AI assistant you actually talk to, not text, talk and it would understand multi-step requests. Schedule my meeting, check my calendar, send the invite and remind me an hour before. All of that in one natural sentence. And it actually works. Think about education, interactive voice tutorials that feel like talking to a teacher that adapt to your questions, that explain things naturally. Think about accessibility, voice interfaces that actually understand different accents and speech patterns that help people who can't easily type or use screens. This is the kind of update that opens doors. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Tell me what you would build with this, because I want to know what you're thinking. And speaking of building with AI, if you want to learn how to actually use tools like Gemini to save hours every single day, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we show you exactly how to automate the boring stuff in your business how to use AI voice tools to handle customer calls, how to set up systems that run while you sleep, real workflows, real automation, no fluff. Link is in the description. Check it out. Now, let me get practical with you. How do you actually start using this? If you're a developer, 
Head to Google AI Studio right now. You can test this for free, build a quick prototype, see how it handles your use case. The model code you want is Gemini 2.5 Flash Native Audio Preview. That's the one with all these improvements. If you're not technical, don't worry. Just open the Gemini app on your phone, go to Gemini Live, start talking, ask it complex questions, give it multi-step tasks, watch how it handles everything naturally. It's honestly wild seeing this work in real time. Here's what makes this different from other voice AI you've tried. Most voice assistants work like this. You speak, it converts your speech to text, it thinks, it generates a text response, then it converts that text back to speech. There are four steps, four places where things can go wrong, four delays, native audio cuts that in half, you speak, it thinks in audio, it responds in audio, two steps, faster, more natural, way better. And the function calling improvement, that's the secret source. Imagine you're talking to Gemini and you say, find me restaurants near me, check which ones are open now and book a table for two at seven. Before this update, it might find the restaurants but forget to check if they're open, or it would check if they're open, but not book the table. Now it handles all three steps reliably while maintaining a conversation with you. The developers building with this are already going crazy. I've seen people building voice agents that can handle customer support calls from start to finish, voice assistants that can control smart homes with complex commands, interactive learning tools that quiz you out loud and adapt based on your answers. And we're just at the beginning. This thing launched today, one more thing that's important, the translation feature. This isn't just cool tech. This is genuinely useful. Imagine you're traveling. You need to have a conversation in another language. You put in your earbuds, you speak normally. The other person hears you in their language, in your tone, with your emotion. They respond, you hear them in your language. That's the experience Google is building. And it's rolling out now in the Translate app beta. Now, here's what I want you to understand. This isn't just another AI announcement. This is Google taking voice AI seriously, really seriously. They're not just making it sound better. They're making it work better, making it more reliable, making it more useful. And they're putting it everywhere in their apps, in their API, in their enterprise tools. That tells you something. They see where this is going. And here's the opportunity for you, whether you're building a business or just trying to work smarter, voice AI like this is going to change how you get things done. Instead of typing everything you talk, instead of clicking through menus, you just say what you want. Instead of switching between apps, you have one conversation that does it all. That's the future and it's available right now. Look, if you want to stay ahead of updates like this and actually learn how to use them in your business, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. We break down every major AI update and show you exactly how to use it. Real strategies, real workflows, no theory. Link is in the description. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. It's our free AI community. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. These are people actually building and shipping, not just talking about it. Go check it out. All right, that's it for today. Google just made voice AI way more powerful. Go try it, build something cool. And let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you in the next one.